Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Melissa if you're new here. For today's video, I'm filming a shopping video. I'm really excited. I feel like I haven't filmed a shopping video in a while on my channel. I feel like it's been over a month now, which is crazy. I just pulled up at a Lowe's. I haven't been to this Lowe's in a little while. I feel like I don't really come to this side of town very often. I'm usually going the other way, but I'm excited. It's Wednesday. It is January. Is it the 4th or the 5th? It is Wednesday, January 4th. So it is after the New Year's. And thank you guys so much for the love on my previous video. I had to get a coffee, of course. I haven't had the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso in a while and it is so good. We're actually getting some pretty bad storms here probably in a couple hours. So I need to run to the grocery store and film this video. So I'm gonna film, there's a grocery store down the road. I'm gonna pop in there after I'm done and scary home before the thunderstorm start. It's weird that it's thunderstorming in January. I don't know, it's actually like 70 something degrees out right now. I don't even know why I'm wearing a jacket and over christmas it was so cold here like 20 degrees which is crazy so the weather is definitely up and down but yes thank you guys so much for joining me on this shopping trip i'm really excited to go into lowe's and to see what they have i don't really want to be tempted to buy anything i'm going to try not to buy anything i wish i could have shown you guys the lowe's in my husband's hometown we went back for the holidays they have pink princesses there and everything and the lows was massive if i had my camera i would have filmed because that would have been such a lovely lows to show you guys so whenever i'm there again whenever i go back i'm going to take my camera and film at that lows because i was just thoroughly impressed by the selection there it's crazy how different the lows can be from store to store. But yes, enough chatting. I'm gonna head in and we're gonna take a look and see what they have. I'm really excited to show you guys. And yeah, let's go plant shop. I just got inside. It doesn't look like they have any plants outside. There's some just golden pothos hanging up and stuff. There's hardly anything out there at all. So all we have to show you is what's in here and I'm excited to look around. They also have a clearance section here that I'll go through too, but I think I'm gonna start over here and just see what they have. Okay, my eyes are immediately drawn to this plant. That is gorgeous. Look at how beautiful that is. What is this? I actually have no idea. It is $39.98. They said it's a Xanthosoma, so is that like a Caladium maybe? I don't know, that is really pretty. That would be beautiful um, in the summertime. I don't have room for it right now, but maybe for summer. And the leaves, look how big they are. Pretty big leaf size too. I've never seen these before. Very, very pretty. They have these beside it, which I'm not sure what this is either. Oh, it's an aglionema and $29.98. Looks like just a green aglionema maybe. It has like a white margin on it. And there's a, another one back there. They have bromeliads here. They have some larger ones and some smaller ones. I love that purple color on that. That's so pretty. And we got lots of orchids here. I think that one is very unique. And that one too, isn't that pretty? And most of the orchids I think are 20 something dollars. Some of the small ones are $19.98. Here's a section here, it looks like maybe Costa Farm plants. There's these little Cocodama things. They're cute, that's a bird's nest fern, I believe. And these guys are 
Yeah, and then we have some Aglionemas. These guys are in the Wick and Grow, so they're $14.98. And we have this beautiful Calathea medallion. So pretty. On the bottom here, I see some Alocasia polys that are in the Wick and Grow. So these are $14.98 as well. And we have little carnivorous plants. I see these pretty much every time I come for like 10 bucks. I have so many plants to look at over here. I don't even know where to start. Ooh, I see some Hoya. I don't think I can get that down. That's a Curtisii for $19.98. And there's another one back there too but it is very overwatered. I can't even pick that up. That is so heavy. I have one, I do like mine. Here's just a regular Hartley philodendron. I like the pot. It's uh, $26.98 for that. We also have a philodendron Brazil here for $19.98. There's actually a few of them hanging up. They're so pretty. Such a nice full basket too. We have a couple ferns hanging up. Other than that, there's the other Brazil. Oh wow, look at this one, you guys. Look how long that one is. Wow, there's so many of them here. Look at how full. I've never seen a courtesy eye that full before. That is such a good deal. My arm is shaking because it's so heavy. There's a spider plant, and what else is back here? Let's see. Oh, just some golden pothos, it looks like. But yes, these are such a good find. If I didn't have one, I totally would buy that. It's like twice as big as the other ones. Here on this shelf, it looks like we have more ferns. Here's a crocodile fern. Let's see. Crocodile fern is, I'm not sure. I imagine it's probably 20 something dollars with that pot. Here's a ficus um, altissima. I used to have one and it died. I was really sad about that. Yeah, I brought it in over the summer and it just like went downhill. <laughs> but my other ficus did well after transitioning back inside. Here's another Poly or Amazonica. This one is $22.98 in that pot. And in the back, it looks like there's some snake plants and some ponytail palms. And there's more on the other side. I'll have to go around the other side when I'm done. Here on this middle shelf, it looks like we have Aglionemas and some Diffenbachias. And then on the bottom, there's some ponytail palms and sago palms. I just can't stop staring at this beautiful Calathea. Look at how pretty those big leaves are. So, so pretty. There's several of them back here. They're in these hanging baskets for $19.98, so 20 bucks. And then there's some more here. They're so pretty. I don't know if you can make them all out. And it looks like, ooh. Oh, I thought that was the new one. This looks like just a global green. I feel like I don't really see the global greens too much anymore. But these are $19.98. What else is back here? It looks like we have golden pothos, another crocodile fern. Here's another Hartley philodendron. More crocodile ferns and golden pothos. And then this little section here, it looks like Nothing really new. Some more Alocasia polys. Here's some cute little green Fatonia. These are like $5.48. This section here looks like a lot of the small plants here in the back. Let's see if there's anything new here. I feel like there's lots of the same, same plants. Some begonias. There's a creeping fig. There's syngoniums back here. Oh, I see a little Maranta. Look at that. Aw, $5.48. Such a tiny one, though. They have the bigger ones now. If I come across a variegated one, I'm going to buy it because I want another one of the variegated ones. More Syngonium. And here's some more Begonias here. Up top, hanging up, we have more ferns, spider plants, syngonium, 
another Calathea medallion, and then some golden pothos there. Those guys are $14.98 in those pots. Here's some orchids and this Coco Dalma thing. They are $21.98. And here up top, they have some of the succulents in these as well. These guys are $15.98. And here it looks like they have bromeliads and orchids again. And then you get like a plant in there with it. Mm -hmm. These guys are $22.98. We have money trees here. They are $15.98. And here's another uh, one of those Hoyas back there. And more Aglionemas. Here's one of those um, skinny ones. More polys down there. Lots and lots of Calatheas. Here's a Maquayana. I love my Maquayana. Look at how pretty. That is stunning. It is $15.98. Ooh, I actually see an alocasia back here. Oh, I don't have this one. This is an Ivory Coast. You can tell by the pink uh, petioles there. And this pot is $25.98. It's a pretty design. Look how pretty and vibrant that color is. Here's a cute red Maranta. There's not a price on this one. I'm not sure how much it is. It's cute though. There's a Dracaena there. More golden pothos. They have a couple of these ficus triangularises in the back. They're uh, $13.98, so 12 bucks. That's not too bad. And they also have some smaller philodendron brazils for $13.98 as well if you don't want the bigger basket. And then other than that, they just have a couple bird's nest ferns and then there's a um, syngonium back there. And then on these shelves, it looks like just some more snake plants, bird's nest ferns. That one's pretty. And here's a staghorn fern. This one is, I see a price on this. Oh, $22.98. So you get a pretty decent sized staghorn fern and a nice pot and a macrame cord. Some cute little air plants. Lots of little succulents here. Up top here, we have kind of more of the same. There's actually some smaller hanging baskets there in the back that are kind of hidden. We have a philodendron in Brazil for $14.98. Some golden pothos. This looks like a maybe a pearls and jade for $14.98. And there's a section here. Look at that beautiful Maranta. $26.98 for a lemon lime. Another Hoya basket. Lots of alocasia polys. Look at all those. And we got snake plants, some ZZ plants, bird's nest ferns. And then we have a Calathea there on the end. It is $22.98. And then here on the bottom, we have lots more Calathea. Here's the rattlesnake Calathea. They're $14.98 in this Wick and Grow system. They're so pretty. I love mine. And we have lots more Calathea medallions. And there's the Dottie over there as well. Here on this section, we have more of this Aglionema that has that white tip. And these beautiful Diffenbachias. And we have lots of fiddle leaf figs. These fiddle leaf figs are, how much are these ones? They are $19.98 for those. So 
That's a decent little size. And then this one here is a little bit more bushy. This one is 120. So if this is 120, then I bet you those are probably 122. The snake plants are 22.98. We have more of this aglionema. And here's some of the baby fiddly figs. That one's interesting. That one's $14.98. It looks like a Dracaena, maybe. Lots of the Calathea Dotties. Look at how many of them. I still might get one of these eventually because I don't have one that has the pink marking, but we'll see. Not today. <laughs> we have more of this Caladium. So pretty. And this one is $19.98. The Peace Lilies are $15.98. We have a cart back here that has some staghorn ferns, it looks like. These are some little ones for $7. That's a cute deal, especially if you want to make like a little, you know, hanging planter with one. They have so many. Those are such a good deal because they're they already have their basil frond, you know. I definitely would buy one of these if I wanted to get started on one. $7, you can't beat that. Some more baby fiddly figs for $24.98. Lots of African violets. I can't find a price on these. Oh, they're only $4.28. Lots of different colors. I don't see any variegated ones here. Here on the bottom, here is a Audrey ficus. It's really pretty. Oh, I think it has spider mites. Yeah, it's got spider mites. You can see that dusting on it. $26.98. Other than that, just more snake plants, ponytail palms, and here's a fern. This cart, we have some succulent arrangements. They're two for $10. Here's a little flapjack. They seem like they're overwatered. Yeah, they're like, that one's not even in the soil. <laughs> yeah, they definitely seem like they've been watered a little too much. There's a section here of succulents. Let me look through these. They have these pots here for $10, and it looks like you get maybe four succulents in these ones. And there's some smaller ones for $8. Kind of a interesting pot. It's like a, that kind of, it's not really a shimmer. It's interesting. Why such a deep pot for succulents? $8 for those ones. I just find that that's a weird pot to put a succulent in. And here's some big ones. Look at those pots. $20 for a huge pot with succulents. I just think that's so weird for succulents being that they have such a shallow root system. Why would you get such a big pot for that? Something like this would be better because it's more shallow, you know? So I would, if I had the option of buying this or this, I would definitely buy the ones that are in the shallow pots. $16.98 for those. They have these ones here. Um, $15.98 for those. And then they have some in the red pots. And then here on the bottom, we have Trace. Oh, they're wine bottles. Look at how cute that is. That is interesting. $20 for a, oh, that's kind of sharp. It's a cute idea, but again, it looks very overwatered. And there's these ones here for $25. Again, very overwatered in a deep pot. I would stay away from deep pot with succulents unless you plan on taking them all apart and repotting them. And here's some oval kind of shaped ones. These ones are 15. I'm gonna go through this clearance section and see what's over here. Maybe we can find something to rescue maybe. Oh, those are cute. Just look at those Christmas pots. That's cute. 
So it looks like, so these guys are $10, so they're only $4 on clearance. We have orchids. I've been wanting to do like a water culture orchid, water culture orchid. If I could find a decent orchid that's that I could rescue. But it has to be an orchid that I that I like. That's still too much. For $30, for $15, I would not buy that. Because $30 original price, that one would be 50% off. That's that's still too much. But yeah, it looks like a lot of just orchid arrangements. Um, lots of succulents, of course, that are sad and overwatered. We have some logs here that have some syngonium. We have lots of these gray ghost ag aglionemas. They're um, so overwatered, that's so sad. So they would be half off for 15. So they would probably be like $7 maybe. We have lots of little plants here and some African violets it looks like. And we have a poly that's sad. We have a sad monster, Peru. It doesn't look too sad. It's definitely over water, but you could probably salvage it. So those would be half off. We have a golden pothos. We have a calathea, that's sad. Aw. Bromeliads. I always feel bad for the sad plants. I think I might see some plants up that way. I'm gonna go walk up that way and see if there's anything up there. So there is a section here up front. This is so pretty. I love that color. Even that Diffenbachia, look at how beautiful that is. We have pretty large Dracaenas there. Fiddle leaf figs. We have a Raven ZZ and then a regular ZZ. Some more fiddles. There's a um, Birds of Paradise back there. Dracaenas, Majesty Palms. So let's see. This one, I imagine this one's probably around $40. Yeah, $39.98. The fiddles are $20. So I imagine the ZZ is $40 as well. These little birds of paradise are $35.98. I'm definitely gonna get another one come spring cause mine unfortunately got over water during the reading season and it ended up dying. So I am gonna try again with another one this spring for the outside. And these fiddles are more like a tree shape. These ones are, all right, these ones are $36.98. So $40 almost. Yeah, so pretty. I just love that pop of green. All right, that was it. I'm back in my car. I didn't get anything. I was tempted to maybe rescue a plant, but I don't know. I didn't see anything that just spoke to me. They didn't really have a lot here at this store, but that's okay. I hadn't been here in a while, so it was at least nice to come and check. Now I'm thinking I should have went back to the other side of town. They probably would have had more because I feel like that Lowe's is usually pretty good, but that is okay. I just wanted to film a little shopping video. I would stop at another location, but I feel like the weather's coming in and I kind of want to get home before it starts like pouring. Maybe I'll go out next week and film another one because I feel like I didn't really get to show you guys a whole lot for this video. So I will do another shopping video for you guys soon. I've been wanting to check out Walmart and I've also been wanting to do a store shop with me. Um, I've been wanting to do back to TJ Maxx, but those would have to be a voiceover because I can get dinged for copyright in some of those stores. It's happened before, but yeah, maybe I'll do like a TJ Maxx plant shopping video or go back to Target. I feel like they should be starting to put their spring stuff out soon and I got to catch it early if there's anything good because it will get sold out. So I'm going to be on the lookout for that here in the coming weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all very soon.